Okay, I just got back from Price Shopper and I didn't get a whole lot, but I got some mixed vegetables. And then this was marked down and this is bacon ends and pieces and seasoning, which is great for recipes. And I actually needed bacon for uh, my baked beans that I'm making for the 4th of July. We got a watermelon, watermelon, I um, watermelon. cherries, let's see, that bag's empty. Corn. Corn. That was a good price. And we yes. had we had some at a friend's house and it was really good. So I, I splurged and bought some. And then uh, I don't know what the, the mustard I think they paid me for. And then that was only 39 cents. Lastly, I got 39 cent, 39 cent hot dog rolls and well, I, I kind of ashamed to have this item in my cart. Golden grams. They paid me 37 cents to buy those. So you're ashamed to have golden grams in your cart? Yes, because they're full of sugar and they're not healthy for you. I don't kill you instantly. Thanks. I just was in the garden picking some of our produce before it got really hot this morning. And here are some of our radishes. Most of them look really good except this one. And this is because we had so much rain the last day or two. You can, you can eat your peanuts right there. That's fine. But this one's split just because of all the rain. So it's still edible. Um, I'll just wash it up really good. But on that, they all looked really nice, had a nice shape to them, and I love the color. Um, and this is our first green beans that we got for the season. There's not too many yet. Um, and the reason there's not many is the flowers, when they first start, are kind of hit or miss. So there's not a, um, you don't ever get a huge Mommy, amount that first. Down. Just a minute, sweetheart. Is that for Mommy? <gasps> Thank you very much. Lydia's sharing a peanut with me. Mmm delicious yeah. but the bean plants are covered in flowers so I would say by the beginning of next week to the end of next week I'm gonna be inundated with beans beans coming out my ears and the last thing I found was our well I knew they were out here I picked some more turnips and I think they're getting a little bit past even though they're small I think they're getting a little bit past because see there's like this yuck up here I'm gonna have to cut this all out and over here, same thing. And they just, they look a little woody to me. They might be fine when I cook them up, but um, I don't know. I'm gonna just start harvesting them. I'll probably plant some more because um, yesterday I did a, I made a dish for myself. I wanted to try it first myself. And it was kale, onions, garlic, a little bit of jalapeno pepper that I had frozen, uh, ham, is there anything else? Oh, and then I used chicken bone broth in it, and I just caramelized the onions and all the root vegetables so they were really sweet. And then I tossed in the kale, the bone broth, the salt and pepper, and the ham, and then I just put a cover on it and let it cook down. And it was, oh, I, I forgot, the turnips. I put, I peeled the uh, turnip, put little tiny cubes in it. You never even knew it was a turnip, and it was um, really, really good. So I think I might make that again for lunch today. I don't know about you, but ever since I've grown just regular green bush beans, I've um, had this reaction to the leaves, and I think it's called bean rash. I don't know if you can That's see that on my arm there. And I have it on that arm, and then I have it on that arm as well. I don't know if you can see that all that well. But it's always very itchy. And all I found is just washing, as soon as you come inside, wash it with um, soap and water, and it'll go away, half hour, hour, but I have yet to find a cure. So if any of you guys know of a good way to um, not get bean rash, other than wearing a long sleeve shirt, which just for me is not practical in the heat, um, if you guys know a way of preventing it, please leave a comment below. I would love to hear how you prevent bean rash because it's it's a nuisance for me. One of the reasons I hate picking beans. Now what are you eating, Lydia? Uh, beans. Beans. Did mommy just pick those? Yes. Let me show mommy your beans. Oh, those look pretty good. Yes. Take a bite. Oh, and they even crunch. How they taste. Good. And then I also found all this lettuce and kale in the garden. So that's going to be part of our... We were having corn with our lunch. 
And the conversation naturally uh, headed towards how you eat your corn. And I don't know if maybe this is just our family, but we have people who like to eat corn all over the place, so there's no, you don't eat in rows, you just kind of bite wherever you feel like it, and then if there's some corn left over, you just go back and nibble the little things off. And then you have other people who like to eat it in nice, neat rows all the way around the corn. So, we have Art here. This is his style corn. And I would say this is a eat all, anywhere, bite wherever you feel like it. And then you have Mommy. This is Lydia's. Just eat every last she, little. Yeah, she um, eats everything. There's nothing left. This is Mommy's, and I'm a square row type of person. I like nice and neat. And yeah, Lydia, Charity tries to be rogues. And then that's John's. And well, Pete just kind of rolls his in his mouth like a tumbler. And it looks really weird. And it makes a mess too, everywhere. But then we were saying, how you eat your corn, does it tell about the person's personality? Whether they're, uh, what would it be, ADHD? Uh -huh. ADHD, or if they're, um, Uh, what would it be obsessive compulsive or what's the word I'm looking for? I don't, I don't know. You got me on that one. Anyways, that's the fun we were having at our lunch. How do you eat your corn? Do you eat it in rows or do you eat it around? Right. Leave a comment in below. Let me know how you eat it. Chickens like corn too. And this is how they eat it. They just kind of peck away at it till there's nothing left. friends is having a piano recital tonight so we're heading over there right now um, over dinner we had some another uh, severe thunderstorm come through yeah third in three days yeah we had um, some really bad ones come really close to us on Tuesday in fact they closed down a good chunk of the major roads in our area so um, it didn't sound like this one was quite that bad, at least not in our area. Now, while we were having dinner today, the energy level in our house was absolutely off the charts. The kids are just absolutely wild because of the storms and also getting ready to go to the recital. And I didn't think we were going to make it. It was so wild and chaotic in our house, but we did manage to get out. No, those are horses. This is what Janelle does at the end of a busy day to relax. 